Okay, let's get this show started there, folks. Hello, everybody. It's 2 p.m. Time for another 2 p.m. PST Twitch stream. I'm your host, Strange Road Jim, and today we're going to be getting back into Warframe. Um, so, on the agenda for today, or what I have plans for today, um, still looking for people that want to do some Exploiter Orb, hence, you know, the title of my, uh, title of my stream, um, but I mean, if, if I don't have any takers on that, uh, which, I mean, I haven't really had that many uh, lately other than Vinny. And I appreciate the fact that, you know, she keeps on coming in and helping me out. And, you know, I, I really do appreciate that. You know, I, I want her to kind of keep on doing that. <clears throat> um, so... Um, just kind of looking for essentially like two others to, to fight the Exploder Orb. Um, or maybe three if, if Finny is, is unable to make it today. Um, which could definitely happen. Life, life can get in the way sometimes. Um, but if that doesn't happen, then I'm definitely going to be working on the Fortuna rep grind. Which I've been doing quite a bit lately. Um, I'm not quite at the like I have I have 27k in uh, in uh, the you know the the limit the reputation limit uh, and I don't think I'm at that amount or under it for Fortuna yet. So I'm probably going to be needing. Not only this morning, but after the update to to get the uh, amount necessary for for Fortuna. So I'm going to be doing a lot of bounties. I'm going to be trying to collect a lot of um, um, the uh, you know requirements for expansion of the reputation. You know the rank up. Um, and probably going to be looking for more of the toroids as well, just so I have them on hand so that I can uh, turn them into the um, uh, Vox Laris later. Can't do it now because I need to fight Profit Taker in order to uh, rank up uh, Vox Laris. I'm already maxed out on Vox Laris, so I need to take on Profit Taker for that. So. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what I'm going to be doing today. So one or the other, or if not both, that's, that's on the agenda. Now I don't necessarily need to fight, uh, the Exploiter Orb anymore. Um, you know, the, uh, previously I needed to work on fighting them to get, uh, Warframe parts, but that was already taken care of me. Um, thanks to Vinny, which I do appreciate the gift. Um, I've already said my piece on that, so, um, no need to rehash that. Um, but, you know, I'm still thankful for the gift that she gave me, so don't think that I'm not. <laughs> I am. Um, so, um... But, I, you know, I got that in the uh, Warframe slot, which was appreciated. Um, so, so yeah, that's that's on uh, the agenda for day. Probably going to continue doing some Nightwave as well to kind of knock that out. So I'm probably going to do, like, some Nightwave at the very beginning. You know, knock out as much as I can. Uh, ideally, I'd hope that you know, there's quite a number of Nightwave um, uh, opportunities um, for Fortuna, but we'll see. Don't know, um, but we'll check that out. Uh, also, for today, uh, we also have Stream Raiders. 
So if anybody is interested in that, go ahead and load that up. Uh, I'll be starting shortly. Uh, I messed up last time. I was like, yeah, I'll get started at like 2.30 or something like that. We had a, like a large fight at the very beginning. So I was, I was a little worried that I might not have as much people uh, joining me for the fight. So I was a little worried on that. Um, but um, I think uh, overall, um, I, I think I'll go ahead and get started early on the Stream Raiders, to be honest. So uh, let me go ahead and get that up. Just got done with an update, so so let me go ahead and load that up here real quick. Give me a, a minute or two on that. Um, so yeah, um, that's it for the agenda for today. So hopefully everybody comes on in and enjoys. You know, feel free to chat with me in the chat. You know. Or lurk. It's perfectly fine either way. Um, all right. All right. So let me let me switch on over to the stream writers. So. Um, so at the very tail end last week, I was just I was just by myself trying to fight the very beginning boss here. I'm like, OK, well, you know, what can what can I do? Um, we're still in the Swords and Sweetery, uh, so it's going to end in less than two weeks, so so we'll obviously keep on playing here. Uh, let's see, what are my uh, quests for today? Okay, so I need to get 15 kills. Okay, win three battles, which I'm really close to doing. Uh, get 10 units to level 10, not there yet. Kill 50 enemies, that's a lot. Place three tanks. Okay, so I'm going to need to kind of focus on putting some tanks down. That should be easy enough for today. Um, so we are going to go ahead and get started on this. Start the battle. And I'm going to go ahead and put my tank down. Now, um, in the past, these, these villagers would... Um, we kind of like pop in and give you some some bonuses or something like that, but my leader kept on attacking them for some reason, even though, from what I understand, they're good units. So it was really odd that my my particular leader would be going after the non enemies, the allies. You know, so I don't know. I don't know what that's all about, but it looks like um, there's really only one enemy here, to be honest, from what I can see. Well, whatever. Everybody start throwing your units in. Uh, we'll get started, in, obviously, in the next 20, 28 minutes, and we'll, uh, we'll give it a shot. So there we go. Let's get into Warframe now. Okay, so... Uh, no one on the clan, uh, clan is online right at this moment in time. That's perfectly fine. Uh, we still have all those uh, core prime... Um, relics and whatnot to kind of look for so all oh right i should probably open up my list here one second i made myself a little bit of like a, a shopping list you might say of warframes that i still need to kind of grind out and get um so let's see Um, we should have a couple that are like ready to go, ready to be pulled out. Uh, let me let me verify that real quick.
Mm, no, okay. Otherwise, it'd be like at the very top of the list there. So it looks like maybe I didn't finish them off completely. Like I got the parts finished, but I didn't finish off. Oh, no, there it is. Goss. I'm going to go ahead and claim him. I've been thinking, Operator. I thought you'd want to know. Uh, now it's Prime. We're going to go ahead and keep inside. Mag Prime, keep. Nesha, Nova. The reason why I'm not pulling them out that quickly is because I don't have um, loadout slots for everybody yet. Um, you know, and I w would like to, but. Okay, let me see. Let me go ahead and pull out these uh, arc wings here. Aha. Gotcha. Okay, we'll hold off on that for now. So. Okay, let's see. Let me let me check out the Warframes as well. I also have Hildred as well to kind of work on. So, uh, Anomaly Shard. Not quite sure what that's all about, but I'll... I mean, I'm not I'm not completely done getting all of uh, Caliban parts either. I need the Narmer mission and Narmer uh, uh, bounties in order to get the last part for Caliban, um, the uh, chassis. So we're gonna be kind of working on that a little bit. Um. Ruta, right. So I got everything ready there. So so once that's done building, then we could start building up Garuda. So that's good. That's handy. Um, let's see. Lavos. We still need to get titanium for Lavos Neuroptics. Which means I need to do more railjack missions, but we'll hold off on that for right now because there's also a Warframe that I need to get from there. But I need I need to kind of work on getting my ship up to snuff. It's it's not it's not the best right now, so I'm gonna need to kind of work on that a little bit more. So so we're not there along those lines um i think you know I'm, I'm gonna basically do a a stream one day where i'm just gonna go um i'm just gonna take my railjack and i'm just gonna fly through each of the missions of you know eventually getting to where i need to go for the parts um but i mean that's gonna be a good grind that's gonna be uh helpful so, um, so yeah, um, don't have the last Saren Prime chassis. Tried getting that a long time ago, but, um, uh, all my attempts with the relics, you know, didn't, didn't happen. It's a rare part. So it was, it was really difficult to get. So, um, when they bring Saren Prime back out, then obviously I'm going to be focused really on getting that chassis. Uh, Sevagoth is the one that I'm talking about with the uh, uh, railjack. So. Um, okay, so let me go ahead and claim these. Get these out of the way. Don't need, don't need them kind of taking up, uh, like you know the, like the end progress or, you know, all that. So I'm just missing the Trinity Prime systems, which I need a lot of credit for. So I'm gonna be doing a huge grind at some point on just trying to get credit. Really wish they they would bump up the, um, 
the amount dropped in later missions. But, I mean, what can one do? Um, uh, let's see. Zaku can't do anything. Geomag Systems is the uh, um, profit taker, so we're not going to be worrying about that for the time being. Um, plus, I don't have all the parts anyway. Uh, let's see. Where was uh, Zaku at? That was at um, Necroist Bounties, right? So. So we got a ways to go for, I mean, I could try to go get those, but not right at this moment in time. I did a lot of, I did a lot of bounties in the past for Deimos, but um, never got the parts for Zaku. I'm already maxed out on rep there, <laughs> or at least one of the reps, you know, the, uh, you know, you know, mother's reputation. So, I already, already took care of that one. So, but I haven't, haven't been able to do, what was it, Lloyd's? Because it requires 10 parts to, uh, to get to the next rank and it's like those parts drop very rarely and it's very irritating so okay and that's that's it for for warframes let's see primary guns let's let's check out this and see if there's anything here that i can pull out right now um got a lot of prime weapons Let's see, yep, I don't have any weapon slots right uh, weapon slots free right at the moment in time. Um, I probably should um, uh, sell off some weapons that I don't need anymore. You know, see which ones are um, MR grind. So, uh, let's see. Obviously, I'm going to need to do quite a bit of invasions to kind of get the, like the last ingredients for some of these weapons. So, um, all the primes I'll hold off on for now. Don't necessarily need to pull them out directly. Um, to our prime receiver. Hmm. I'll have to check that one out here. Let me let me check out my relics for the Tenar Prime receiver real quick. I'm kind of curious about that. Uh, Tenar Prime receiver. Okay, I have plenty of relics for that, but it's rares. Gotcha. Okay. So we had ourselves some work to do. to get that one done. Okay. Let's see. Um, what else? Um, it's a huge prime receiver. A huge prime receiver. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, prime... Receiver, not as many relics, but it's an uncommon, so it's not as bad. Probably could use like, you know, a couple more there, but yeah, what can one do? Uh, or at least, you know, a couple more relics to potentially get it. Okay, uh, so primary is done, can't really do much more there. Um, okay. Got enough Orkin cells for the Akrahar Prime, so we can go ahead and build that. Get that started. Um, 
I'm going to need another Lex Prime for the Acolex Prime. Um, yeah, I already have this one. Uh, let's see. Oh, no, I, I just need the Prime. Let's see. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and just buy, and buy some more slots. I mean, I have I have the platinum for it anyway. Might as well use uh, use it. So okay, and it's already mastered and all that, so it's all good. There we go. Um, so that actually freed up a couple slots. Um, now I should have about three slots available. Um, let's see. Don't necessarily want to pull out the primes yet, just yet. Seeing that those are going to be like permanently in my inventory, but I don't see any other secondary weapons that I can really build right at this time. Okay, what about melees? What we got there? Um... Still need to get some war hilts and war blades for another broken war, so that I can uh, get the uh, the actual war here. I, I've I've been told that I should hold on to the broken war, so at least I think I've been told to hold on to broken war. Uh, but whatever. Um, okay, let's see. A lot of prime weapons to hold on to. You know, another, another, another weapon that requires a ton of cryotic. Um, I mean, that's that's easily 300 rounds of just the cryotic grind. You know, straight up. No, no. <laughs> I mean. There's no change on that, so so that's gonna be that's gonna take a while. Um, okay, so I need more Orkin cells to build up the the Sindo Prime. Okay, uh, Shanghai Glass Shard I can get on um, Necros, uh, but I don't have all the devolved metal on there, so I need to. Get some more there. Uh, same with this one. Okay. So I'm going to need basically another 100 to go on that one. Uh, more organ cells there. Uh, don't have the Orvillus blade. So I'm going to need to kind of look into uh, seeing where I can pick up those okay here's here's a melee weapon that I can pull out I'll go ahead and do that here's another one and let's see I'm gonna hold off on pulling out hate because I don't believe that I can sell it off and it might be a pretty decent melee weapon for the most part. Maybe. I'm not sure. Um, probably not better than my... Um, um, than my Cetus crafted weapon. Well, maybe, maybe, it's, maybe it's about the same because my, uh, my crafted weapon isn't like top tier either, which I need to kind of adjust. I need to get like the the best one that I can get out of there. But at the same time, it might not be the best weapon overall anyway, because there's there's better weapons than the Cetus uh, Mila weapons anyway. So so yeah. Um. Let's see, invasions, 
I don't know why I have this again. Um, maybe maybe something's needing the Cronus at some point. Hmm. Here, you know what? Let's go to all, and let's do no. It's apparently I got that blueprint from somewhere, and I'm not quite sure exactly where. If, you know, I, I'm searching for the Cronus because sometimes, you know, they, they put it down in the ingredient list. And so you you would you would see that. So like, like for example, if I did the uh, Lux Prime, for example, I would be able to kind of see it there. So. All right. Um, but that's it on that. So let's go ahead and get all of our... Warframe set up with with the uh, loadout slots. Uh, so, oh, I don't know. Uh, rename. Let's go ahead. Set that up. Equip. Let's see. We want you really. Let's go ahead and set you. Um, I mean, we're we're gonna need to kind of change out the weapons anyway, um, but I don't necessarily want to have it defaulted to uh, to this weapon either. So we're just gonna pick my normal loadout slot. Yeah, that sh that should be fine for the most part. Um, let's go ahead and set up the um hmm rifle amp or melee damage okay um not exactly ideal on either one of those dead eye sniper rifle damage increased Now, does the 8.8% damage increase just the sniper rifle, or does it increase just, or does it increase uh, overall damage, like my shotgun? Hmm. Here, let's let's hold hold off on that real quick. I want to. Well put together. Uh, so okay. right now, my my shotgun is totaled at 11k. Or 11.7k of damage, so I'm kind of curious um, for the aura for Dead Eye here. Will it increase the shotgun? Probably not, but we'll see. It did not. Okay, wanted to make sure on that one. So it is just strictly the sniper rifle. So. I didn't mean to back out all the way. Damn it. <laughs> um, okay. I don't need. I don't. I don't want it to be that. Um, like specific. Like it has to be sniper rifles. Um, but at the same time. Uh, I don't really have that many other options to go for when it comes to auras. You know, I have the steel chargers melee damage, but I mean, she's she's probably not going to be that great in terms of melee, seeing that you know you're going to be using uh, basically a um, a K drive all over the place. I would find the melee to be fairly difficult to use overall i would imagine but i don't know maybe maybe i'm incorrect on that um so maybe the rifle amp would be better overall with aura yeah i'm kind of kind of lean towards the rifle amp on that one okay uh let's see um ability to duration Okay, so I'm I'm seeing a 
duration there, damage per second, but that doesn't change that all that much. Um, Aqua Blades, okay. Obviously that would, that would add to that. Um, Uh, mm, I don't know if duration is going to be a good one for her overall. To be honest. So. I'm thinking let's go more with like the strength. Here we go. Yeah, because there's a lot of uh, damage, health, you know, a lot of a lot of damages out there. So strength is going to be uh, useful in that regard. Let's see, what about this one? Hmm. Uh... We could try going for efficiency here, because I might need that a bit, seeing that there's going to be a lot of, there's going to be quite a few that are focusing on like drains, so there's going to be a lot, of, a lot of mana drains on that one. But at the same time, I might need a lot of energy to kind of go along with it, so. Okay. Uh, let's see, what do we have here? Surging Blades. Um, interesting. Okay. That could be handy. Um, and then, obviously, I want to get some vitality in there. Is I need more health. <laughs> She's a bit squishy without it. So, uh, let's see. Arcane slots, we'll go with the standard Arcane Energize for the time being and Arcane Eruption. Obviously, I need to look into those a little bit more later, but for now, that will have to do. Okay, uh, now we want to change this so that we have the proper name here. Uh, really, there we go. And then we're going to go ahead and favorite her so that we can, you know, work on getting her, um, her levels up. Let's see, next one. Okay, let's see, um, no, 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 okay, so we have Hindran, let's see, what we got here, aha, okay, or uh, we want the reduced armor so that's going to be handy um, we're going to want vitality in there we also could put some prime uh, vigor in there because that that could probably come in handy um, let's see what else augments what we got for augments here uh, charges direct hits store harm shield to him Impact will nullify shields, will destroy them, and destroy 300 shields. Interesting. Okay. Uh, Brazing Pillage. Enemies affected by Haven will be set ablaze. Damage and restore 20 additional shields. Okay, so 
it looks as though shields are going to be a big part of Kendron's kind of um, usage here. And I find it interesting that he has zero energy. Um, so that's interesting. Uh, charge and launch devastating bolts of fire. Wait, is that is that taking away from the sh overall shields? Pillage a percentage of shields and armor of nearby enemies to replenish Hendren's own shields and overshields. Also removes status effects from Hendren and her allies. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Hendren uses her shields as her energy. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm, I was getting that. I was getting that impression from that. Create a shield or around allies. Enemies that approach shielded allies will take damage. Okay. Uh, take the skies and rain. Bail fire rockets down on enemy. Nearby enemies will be blasted in air while they enemy your armor every few seconds. When shields run out, the enemies are smashed into the ground. Okay. So, um. So having this blazing pillage would probably come in handy. I mean, the the restoring 20 additional shields probably not going to be that big of a deal. But I mean, if Hindrance is going to be using a lot of the shields anyway, I'm probably going to want to be using some methods to restore the shields outright. Um, same with this Balefire Surge. So, which means that I should probably consider getting on my shield capacity. Build that up a little bit more as well. Uh, don't need to worry about energy. Or, or will that have any kind of effect on it? No, it doesn't. Okay, never mind. Um, so, let's see. What I should probably look into is efficiency. Um, because I have a funny feeling that maybe efficiency will lower the drain rate. And let's see, hold on. It does. Awesome. Okay, so that's going to be handy. Um... Um, interesting okay this 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 particular one might come in handy as well some shield capacity and ability efficiency that might be handy for Hudrun, so we'll we'll check that out. Uh, let's see. Don't have that much more capacity left. Of course, I can, I could, you know. Well, actually, can't potato because it was a bot. It, it was a bot Warframe, so hence the reason why its capacity is 58 already. <laughs> um. Okay, let's see. Um, I'm thinking strength would also probably be pretty good overall. Um, just figuring. So I mean I have eight left. Let me let me let me look into strength and see what uh, what bonuses that could give me. Um, now I don't want to take down on efficiency. Don't want that. So blind rage won't help. Uh, duration. Hmm. I don't 
don't see much in terms of duration. So, I mean, pillage, yes, but I don't know how good pillage is. I mean, it looks that like the, um, like the, the pillage does uh, restore your shield, so that's good. But I mean, duration. Um, I, I don't, I don't see what the need for duration is, to be honest. Unless, unless it's like you know, like the amount of damage that pillage does returns that amount back to you in terms of shields. That's what I'm, that's what I'm figuring, but I'm not a hundred percent sure on that one. So, um, so I'm thinking I could probably put. Oh wait, I can't, I can't put uh, transient fortitude down because that's too much right at the moment. But I mean that might be something for me to kind of keep in mind later. Um, I don't want to use overextended, not that I have the points for it, but. Um, I'm, I'm figuring that I'm probably going to be needing strength and maybe even range as well. So, um, so yeah. <sighs> Duration is mainly how far it goes. For example, like Nova's four, how it keeps getting wider and wider. Gotcha. Okay. So obviously, if if you have enemies that are like far a far distance from you that are like shooting you, then obviously um, that doesn't really. I mean, unless you have a large duration, that's not very useful. Um, so. Hmm. I can I can see the positives, I can see the positives of pillage, in the sense that it's like restoring your shields and over shields, but at the same time, um, gosh, it almost feels like I shouldn't be taking any kind of negatives whatsoever. I should be trying to boost everything up, um, you know, duration, radius. Um, strength and efficiency all all are kind of required for uh, children so yeah so these these particular mods aren't really that helpful overall so um, I'm probably gonna be looking more for like the ones that just kind of um, like this one doesn't really help me all that much because it says, you know, for 40% energy spent on abilities is converted to shields. Well, that doesn't really help because sort of doesn't have any energy. So this is this is kind of a useless mod for it. Um, now, if it said um, like 40%, um, like a ability usage or something along those lines then that might actually be very helpful for Hudrun but yeah just the fact that it specific, specifically says energy yeah probably not going to be that helpful so um let's see um hmm I don't know. I'm I'm not really feeling all that much in terms of uh, what mods I currently have in turn you know, in terms of boosting up strength right at this moment in time. I'll put on intensify just for that little bit of uh, strength boost, but obviously that's not much. Um, but I mean, that to me looks like a pretty decent loadout for the most part for children but again i'm looking at this first time so i'm not 100 percent sure so 
you know. <laughs> so you have to kind of say, you know, you'll have to kind of cut me some slack on that. Um, okay. Energize will not work for me on this particular build. So this is this is a pointless mod for, or this is a pointless arcane for this particular Warframe. So I'm going to need to look for something else that kind of uh, boosts up um, shields. Again, same with the, uh, same with eruption here. Not th not that useful because I'm not going to need energy pickup. And to be honest, I don't even know if I can pick up anything there. Um, Pillage travels really fast, so duration is not really needed. Also, pillage is one of her main core abilities for surviving and using abilities. Mm, okay. But at the same time, if I if I cut down her duration a lot, though, then it's it might not go out that far to hit as many people as I need to, especially if they're attacking from a distance. So, so I might, I might need to kind of be careful with it. I, I, um, you know, like I had mods that were like, uh, like gonna, uh, take off like 60% of duration on that one. So, so yeah, I don't know. Um, I figure, I should probably hold off on any kind of negatives for the most part um, on that. Let's see, on health damaged, 9% chance for 1% health regeneration for 9 seconds. That might be useful. Um, it's still really, really far without any extra duration. Okay, well, I mean, I, I'm going to be checking it out anyway, but, you know, thank you there, man. I appreciate it. Uh, let's see. Uh, I am not seeing that much in terms of arcanes right now. That really kind of helps, like, boost up um, shield regeneration for the most part. Matter of fact, I don't really see anything here that really boosts up um, shield regeneration. So, or at least what I have right at the moment. Um, if you ever get them, Arcane Aegis and Arcane Barrier, in my opinion. Okay. Uh, I mean, that's that's pretty nice right there. In instantly restore all shields. That could be really useful for... Um, for Hildren. I can un, I can understand why you suggest Arcane Barrier on that one. And you said Aegis. Um, Shield Recharge. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Both of those are very, very handy from from the looks of it. So, okay. Oh, well, we'll have to We'll have to try to search for those. I mean, I haven't, I haven't done any like real uh, arcane grind or like I haven't really, I haven't really t took like a stream to really focus on getting arcanes. Uh, the majority of my time has been kind of like working towards getting warframes. Uh, so, um, so now I'm seeing a little bit more in terms of hey. I really should kind of, you know, I'm I'm seeing I'm seeing benefits of having, you know, specific arcanes for for warframes. So, um, so maybe at some point in time, I really should 
I'll work on trying to gather them up a little bit more. Um, but I think for the time being, I'll go ahead and do um, like Arcane Grace. Let me go ahead and do an upgrade here. Um, there we go. And then... Um, you know, just, just for that extra... Uh, health regeneration. I mean, not not to say that I have a lot of health anyway for for her, but I mean, it's you know, um, you know, it, at this this will be like a temporary arcane for the time being. So, uh, let's see, what else was it that I was kind of looking for that was doing a little bit of health regeneration too? Um, yeah, here we are. I don't have, um, I don't have a ton of these. So I can't, I can't upgrade Arcane Victory. So, but yeah, I think that's about as much as I can really do. Other than that, I could, I might be able to, like, maybe I can just do some uh, some like maybe status effects to try to mitigate some of the um, some of the annoyances that are out there like you know cold status effect for example that's always kind of irritating at times I don't really wall latch all that often so, so that's that's kind of pointless to me um Let's see if you ever get them or yeah okay uh let's see mm. not sure what this is really about so I'll hold off on that one um interesting okay this this could be helpful for anybody that's kind of staying in one particular spot for a long time like maybe um sarin or um hydroid for example might might um could use use this maybe i don't know uh, let's see. Um, uh, damage of companions and summoned allies within 90 meters of by 4% or second stacking up 15 times. Effect persists. I don't really see this as being that useful, to be honest, because it's it's focused on companions and summoned allies so i mean if you're if you're using companions and summoned allies all the time then that's that's great but uh i don't really so so yeah i think i'll just go ahead and stick with the arcane victory for the time being on that there we go uh, here, let me let me go ahead and take care of the um, stream raiders here real quick. One second, let's go ahead and and finish off this one, and hopefully I can like take care of the enemy before I go running off to attack these allies. We'll see. Okay. I'm attacking the enemy from the looks of it, so that's good. Hey, I'm not attacking the villagers anymore. Awesome. <laughs> I swear, last week, I, I you know, I kept on, it, it kept on going after the villagers over and over and over again. I'm like, okay. You're getting yourself killed, and you're not killing the villagers. 
Come on. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't give this to anybody because no one set down any units, so... Oh, well, not much I can really do about it. All right, well, that one's done. So uh, now that we cleared that level, we can go ahead and move on. Which which route is the best one to get the most out of? So, so already this one right here beats out this route. Um... This route here is the same as that route. So going there is about the same. Yeah, so going going the southern route is is about the same. It's about equivalent for everything here. So so if I do one, two Oh wait, no, it's it's well mm, I can't do a full southern route because I'm missing one there, so I'd have to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, seven battles, basically. You know. Um, but, if I do this way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Uh, six, seven, eight, six, seven, eight. You know this this route right here gives the the most amount of battles. So that's that's what we're gonna do. All right. Now let's see. Where are the villagers? The, there's the villagers. Uh, where's the enemies? Oh, enemies will be revealed over time. Gotcha. Okay, so both of these are villagers too. So, yeah. Okay, well, not much I can really do about that. But uh, if anybody wants to throw their units in, feel free to do so. Um, and we'll get started in the next 30 minutes on that. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get back into Warframe here. Okay, so um, I'm... I'm okay with what I have right now for children, so let's go ahead and rename, obviously. There we go. And we'll go ahead and favorite her, so. And then we want to do one more open slot. And let's see, uh, what we got here? Guess we'll just go with Goss. There we go. All right, now Goss I know is like super speed, you know, so um, probably gonna be wanting Efficiency and duration is probably going to be like, like really focus. Um, probably a lot of strength as well might be helpful overall. Um, maybe not so much for like the overall damage because, well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe damage. We'll have to see. Um, okay, let's let's go ahead and go. Let's look at the aura here. Let's go ahead and reduce that armor down. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and get our vitality going here. Um. Probably going to be needing quite a bit of duration. Uh, probably going to be needing a lot of efficiency. And probably going to be needing a lot of strength. 
I don't know about range. I don't know... I don't know if range is going to be like a major component of Gauss's, or at least I can picture not needing a lot of range for Gauss. Um, but again, I could be completely wrong on that. Um, yeah, based based off of what I can see here, the only thing that really does any kind of range is the mock rush here. So here, let me uh, let me do. Let's let me put this one down and let's see how much range gets affected here. Okay, so explosion radius and radius. Okay, nothing there. Um, thermal sunder. Uh -huh, okay. Okay, so two abilities are getting affected by by the negative on that one. Um, but I'm not quite sure how much that's really needed per se. I mean, the thermal sunder I'm I'm sure could be kind of helpful if you're getting like uh, surrounded by enemies like super close to you, but it doesn't look like it's that large anyway so or a larger radius just by their descriptor there um and the mock rush you know I, I don't know if um i don't know if anybody's really going to be using you know i don't know if anybody uses mock rush just to hit enemies to be honest I would imagine that they're using it just to kind of move around and that's about it. But I could be wrong. You know, so. Uh, Thermal Sunder is a great AoE clear, but I feel like most Gauss players mainly use 3 and 4. Well, I mean, Thermal Sunder is 3, so. <laughs> Um, sorry, two and four, gotcha. <laughs> Kinetic plating. Um, okay. Yeah, I can, I can see the armor boost there. Um, could also see red line as well, so, okay. Um, so let's see, I really boosted up the duration a lot, um, I probably should go with some efficiency though for the last, or for the last one here, so let me, let me look at, oh actually hold on, let me, let me see what I have in terms of augments. Mock rush augment impact shockwave leaves behind a vacuum that sucks in enemies within five meters. I mean that's not bad, but again, um, if you're rushing into them, then it's like meh. Um, now the th the thermal transfer, however, that could that could be. You know handy so I could see people using that one a bit more overall but wait thermal sender augment is the three gotcha hmm so I have I have augments that do one and three both of which is like meh at least you know according to Bam. um hmm But I mean, the if well, mm, if if range is already going to be affected by it, then this one isn't going to be that useful overall. I mean, the forty percent bonus in elemental damage is useful for players. Don't get me wrong, but I mean, I'm already affecting its range overall, so they would have to be like standing on top of me, pretty much. 
in order to get that boost. So, yeah, and yeah, probably not that one then. Um, this one might be useful for the most part, but mm, probably not. So you know what? Let me let me go ahead and let's look at efficiency again, as I mentioned. Um, I I don't have a lot of points, so I can't really do too much here. Oh, there we go. That'll work. All right, so. Um, We're reducing down the amount of drain that would happen. Now, obviously, um, this isn't great because I would need to have uh, like prime flow at one point in time, and um, you know, to to add some extra energy, um, I'd probably want to do like equal equilibrium to get you know some more energy there as well um, and then of course I'll need to like put on some strength you know to to boost up the um, like the overall damage that you could do or the um, damage reduction so on and so forth so um, so yeah, um, but yeah, I guess that'll that'll have to do for the time being for Goss. So uh, let's go ahead and rename you. There we go, and we'll go ahead and favorite so that we can uh, work on your. Uh, Gaining you lo some levels there, but but that's it for my loadout slots again. <laughs> no more no more loadout slots for me. Uh, wish I could just get all of my loadout slots like right now because I could, you know, I have I have all these I have all these warframes these prime warframes that I would love to kind of pull out and put into my loadout slots for like right now, but you know. Um, I can't really, at least not right at the moment. You know, uh, some people just ignore using them altogether, but I mean, I I like when I can just kind of, oh, I want to use this particular warframe, or say, if any one of my viewers, you know, does like the channel points and says, hey, I want you to use Trinity, for example, at some point, okay, then I can easily select that warframe right then and there and and play the next mission you know so um it's helpful for me as a streamer in my particular opinion so um obviously i don't use all all the warframes all the time um but um i f i find that like if if someone was to like come to me and say, "Hey Jim, um, I see that you have this particular Warframe. Could you, you know, can you grab that particular Warframe and show me what it can do?" Then I could do that. So, um, so it's you know, uh, I know that some people just don't really care. They they swap in, you know, they they don't really have like a full list of loadouts. They just kind of have their like the primaries, the the ones that they mainly use, and that's about it. And and that's it. I don't know if um you know if if you like if I was to go to say you know Frost for example, um. You know, and I suddenly go, hey, I want to change, you know, Frost over to, like, you know, Valkyrie Prime, for example. Would the mods that I put on Frost remain? So, like, if I do, hey, I'm going to put in Valkyrie Prime, and then I go back to Frost, will it hold on to the mods that I put on Frost? I don't really know. I don't really want to, I don't really want to bother with that. I don't want to deal with that. 
Um, so I'd rather just kind of have the loadout slots to handle that, you know, later anyway. So, or at least that's that's my thought line. Um, so, you know, if anybody's curious. <laughs> okay. Um, what do I want to use? Okay, I got Rhino Prime set. Uh, I did a forma on him, so I really should uh, work on him a little bit to get him back up to level 30. Um, let's go ahead and grab my shotgun here. And then we will set up our secondaries. And our melee weapons to, um, you know, so that we can sell them off later. <laughs> there we go. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I've already taken care of the, um, yeah, I've already taken care of the mods on them, so that's good. Uh, I've set all the mods for Rhino up already. Yep, there we go. All right, now, <laughs> sorry, it took me a while there, folks. I, I wanted to kind of take care of that. So uh, let's actually get into some actual gameplay, <laughs> or at least, you know, for the most part. Okay, so cold damage, primary weapon, which is good. That's what I'm going to be using. Um, rare mods, probably not going to be seeing too much of that. Invasion missions, um, no, yes, yes. Relics can't do the profit taker right at the moment. Uh, can't do Riven slivers right at the moment. So, oh okay. yeah. Um, well, we got a decoration. So let's go ahead and take care of that. Uh, then we'll go ahead and set up our cold damage. Later. So let's see. Uh, uh, Orbiter. Decorate. Let's see. Hmm. I don't really do decoration all that often, as you can see. Um, so. Um, have I already placed all these or no? No, I have not. I thought the check marks would kind of show the, uh, yeah. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Uh, there we go. Well, well, well. Looks like some serious crud is going down out there. Here's to right. you, anonymous troublemaker. Yeah, uh, for me, I don't really care too much when it comes to, like, decorations or... Or anything along those lines. I, I I I don't really care too much of when it comes to fashion frame. Um, which I mean, I know that's the end game for a lot of people. I, to be honest, I don't really care about it. Um, I don't have that that good of an eye on it, and that's, you know, um, I don't necessarily play a game for decoration. If if I was Playing a game for a decoration, I'd probably be playing like, uh, you know, Minecraft for huge construction builds, or I could do something for like, you know, like Sims or you know, whatever. I, you know, I don't. I, I, I don't get me wrong. I love what people can do with what they have. I mean. If you took a look at like Tenno um dojo constructions that people made, okay, the fact that people were actually able to like make mechs out of all the parts that they had available, that's awesome. You know, hands off to you. Um, I, I just, I, I feel like I don't necessarily have that 
kind of an, you know, like a visual eye to me. So, um, so yeah, it's just not necessarily my cup of tea. So, okay. Um, oh yeah, cold damage, cold damage. Let's go ahead and take care of that. Um, upgrade. Let's see, cold. Um, okay, we already set cold already on this, so. Yep, that'll be fine. Okay, so, um, we have, there was a couple of relic builds in the night wave that I could do. Um, five scans for Cephalon Samara is probably not going to happen either. Killing 500 enemies, not big, no big deal. Nine invasions might be handy. Um, yeah. So let's, let's see about, uh, cracking open some relics, but if I'm going to do that, I should bring out my list of relics of what not to touch or what I could, I could potentially break open. Uh, hold on. Let me, let me bring that out real quick. So one second on that. Um, I need to kind of go to my Google Sheets and and get the right uh, Excel spreadsheet that I got. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's see. Now that I have that handy, um, let's see which uh, which void fissure would be good? Exterminate might be good. Um, mm, yeah, that's that's about it, to be honest. At exterminate, so uh, that's a Lilith. I don't know if I have actually any good relics on that one. Let's see. Uh, let's see. V seven. Okay, I have some of them radiated. Not all of them, though. But I'm looking for the Ash Prime Blueprint and the Axolotl Prime Link on that one. I've already taken care of the Neuroptics and everything else here. So I don't necessarily need any in these four, but I still need these two here. So, um, And if I crack three of these open then I might have a chance of getting enough void traces to radiate the last one here so maybe I won't necessarily need it but yeah that'll do That guy's taking the care of most of the uh, That's it. most of the enemies right at the moment. I can't even get a shot off at Eyes because they're killing off all the enemies. Nope. Out there. Okay. Now 
get to extraction. Wait, what the heck? Why am I not able to grab the sides here? Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Don't think anyone else is here, man. So go ahead and go. Didn't get the part that I was looking for, but I mean, I still got a nice part altogether anyway. I was going to be needing to get Core Prime at some point, so. So that was awesome. Okay, go ahead and repeat the mission. Uh, oh, okay. Never mind. Let's see. Uh, let's see. What was it again that I was looking for? V7? Yeah, V7. There we go. Let's see if this person wants to continue joining me on this. I just need those um, uncommon ones, and I'll be good, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Eliminate all corpus threats. Okay, ready to blast these machines into spare parts? Watch out. I'm detecting void fissures nearby. Do you have a matching relic? Or near a fissure. There we go. Shoot off the damn cameras, guys. <laughs> Way to go. Well 
Well done. Now get to extraction. Damn, another Vectus Prime that I don't necessarily need. But I mean, I already got plenty of the Nars Prime chassis, so I'm gonna I'm gonna hold and grab that one. The uh, I'm still gonna grab it anyway because uh, if someone needs, like if. If I want to sell off like a set of the Vectus Prime, for example, on the market, then I'll have it on hand. So, so not not great. You know what? Actually, hold off. Let me let me leave the squad here real quick uh, because Nightwave or the uh, Stream Raiders is about ready to get started here real quick. Um. Let's see, how are we doing overall? Yeah, we have the 26 kills there, which is good. I uh, got one rare mod, that's good. 37 kills there, which is good. Just one more relic there. Oh, wow. 46 units were placed on the battlefield. Nice. Nice. Thank you, everybody. Everybody that's participating, I appreciate it. Let's go ahead and switch on over to Raiders here real quick. Go ahead and run that. Uh, let's see. I don't really see a lot of enemies out there, so... Uh, we'll just do a high ground right here and just take care of this enemy real quick. And let's go. I don't think there's going to be that many kills, though. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean... Uh, okay. Okay. So, seeing that there was only one kill, um, I'm just going to do random on this one there, folks. Um, sorry, I, you know, normally I pick, like, the top winners. You know, everybody that, like, picks, like, hey, this person got, like, the most kills or whatnot. But I think we're just going to go ahead and do random. <laughs> so, um, so, yeah, there we go. All right, let's move on to the next area. Start the battle. And I don't think I need to put down any more tanks. So let me go ahead and um, try to maybe throw in something that might be quite handy. Um, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and throw in some artillery here. There we go. So, everybody start throwing in your units. We'll get started in the next 30 minutes. Alright. Switch back over here to Warframe. Oop, almost forgot. There we go. And let's get started here. Alright. Later. One more exterminate to go there we go it was the v7 that I was trying to do yeah one more time There we go. Eliminate all corpus threats. Okay. We'll put an end to this corpus greed. Void fishers. You need them to open a relic, but are you confident you can withstand their fury? A fisher, defend yourself and use reactant to open relics. They're dropping reactant. Use it to crack open a relic. 
going to need more reactors if you want to open that relic. Stay focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. Wait, there's more back that way? What? Keep going. Nobody knows you're here. That's very interesting. Okay, there it goes. <laughs> Okay, we got everybody here. Yep, we do. Okay. You have broken their ranks and they are on the run. Another successful mission. Okay. Find extraction. Let's get out of here. Hey there, Jedi. How you doing there, bud? What are you up to today? Hey, Ash Prime. Awesome. I mean, as much as I would love to get the, the rare Strung Prime right now, I need that Ash Prime, so <laughs> I'm going to stick with this one. I'm good. Getting ready to go D&D. Just got back from adulting. Damn that adulting, man. <sighs> there are days where it's like, you know, you, you really wish you didn't need to do it, but that whole adult thing, pain, bills, working, <sighs> So irritating. <laughs> it's the worst. Yeah, I I can't agree more there, my man. It I can't agree more. <laughs> okay. Um. So we were able to break open our three relics here. Was able to get one of the parts that I was kind of looking for. So that's good. I can remove that from my list of uh, shopping carts here. Uh, don't need the Ash Prime Blueprint, so that's good. Uh, oops, oops, oops. Wrong keyboard. Oh, come on. There we go. Um, there we go. So, but, um, if I'm not mistaken... Let's see. I don't have that many more left to do. Now I'm I'm I still am I'm still in need of the extra little prime blank. Um, and I'm hopeful that I'll be able to get that from the last three. We'll see. Uh, let me go ahead and radiate the last one here, so that I have that on hand. Um, I think everything, you know, if I'm not mistaken, all these are pretty much, 
Oh no, interesting. Oh wait, no wait, what am I thinking? I'm, I'm looking at the V7s. Um, if I if I did a search for the Axtoletto, for example. Axtoletto Prime Link. I don't think there's any that is not unvaulted right at this moment in time. Everything has been vaulted, yeah. So, so these last three are my last chance to get the Axtoletto Prime Link, at least until it gets unvaulted. Or that one event happens again where you could basically purchase your relics that you want to purchase. I don't know. We'll see what happens first. But um, I actually loved that particular event where you could actually purchase whatever relics that you wanted to purchase. Uh, from what I understand, there were some members of the community that didn't really like that event. I don't know. Um, I, you know... Uh, it allows for me to kind of get the parts that I'm kind of looking for faster. So, um, so I, I, I like, I like that version of it. Now, um, if, if they do bring that out at some point in time as like a permanent kind of thing where you could, you can go and, you know, collect all those ingredients to make those relic purchases. If they make that permanent, that would be awesome, in my particular opinion. Um, because then I wouldn't necessarily need to be like, oh, I got to wait for this one to be unvaulted, blah, blah, blah. Right? Um, so it, it allows for me to kind of, um, you know, get... Um, it allows for me to get, you know, these these prime parts faster, doing it that way. Um, but at the same time, I can understand. Hey, if you want to make the like the ingredient, kind of uh, like the, uh, you know, uh, during that one event, it was you had to get the Aya, for example, or Anya, or yeah. Um, in order to make the relic purchases, if you want to make that super hard to get, so that you know it's still a bit of a grind anyway to kind of go for it, then that's fine. I don't mind. You know, I don't mind the grind. You know, I've, you know, I've done it before. I can, I can definitely do it again. It's not that big of a deal. Um, but it would just make things easier. And at least at least for me so if people don't really like that kind of um if people didn't like that for some reason you know i don't know i i don't know what to tell them to be honest because it it was very handy for me being able to go oh i can pick this one relic that i was looking for to get this one particular part that i need and I could get like six of them because I need like the rare part or something like that. So it allowed me to, it's not as random as say going to a planet and trying to grind for like, like hours or like, if I remember correctly, I tried to do one particular planet because I was trying to look for one particular relic. Uh, because I was I was trying to get, you know, uh, get certain parts before they were put back into the vault. So I needed one particular relic out of that entire planet. So, you know, I was doing it over and over and over again. And I was... Uh, I believe it was the one, um, the capture point in the void here. Let me, let me kind of go to it fairly quickly here because I want to try to uh, explain myself a little bit more. You know, here I was in the void uh, trying to do, I believe it was Unko. Uh, there, was, there was no other capture points if I remember correctly. Um, yeah, just, just Unko. 
you know, I was doing Unko over and over and over again, um, just trying to get that one part, you know, uh, I was doing it like, you know, trying to do the whole under the minute mark, you know, 40 seconds, 50 seconds, whatever, you know, to try to get, you know, try to get them quickly. And I think out of like the four hours that I spent trying to do that, I think I was only able to get like one relic that I was looking for out of the out of everything that I was doing. So, I mean, uh, you know, figure it, figure it this way. So I was doing like maybe like two missions um, or I was doing a mission like every two minutes, right? So uh, that means that I was doing probably about 30 missions every hour, right? Multiply that by four for the four hours. I was doing approximately like 120 missions, approximately, give or take, obviously, uh, because there were some missions where it switched from like capture to eliminate, for example, right? So 120, and I think I only got like one relic out of that entire grind that I was looking for. Not great. <laughs> Not a great drop rate in in that particular instance. So um or it was it was you know it, it might not have been that bad. Um I think I did it for like maybe an hour or so. Um maybe two hours. I can't remember. It it was it was a while ago. Um but still it was it was quite frustrating the fact that I was I was trying to search for one you know, one particular relic and you know, I was doing it over and over and over again and all I got out of it was like the one relic that I really was looking for. When I was when I was trying to get like three or four. So it 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 was kinda of painful. <laughs> so okay. Right. Um, but we are done with, we are done with the relics. Uh, we don't need to worry about that anymore. Um, I could do the invasions. Um, actually, let me hold off on the invasions for now. Let's go and do some of the, um, Let's let's go and do some of the Fortuna bounties, uh, so that I can get some rep grind in there before it switches over, because I think it switches over in like the next 15 minutes. I think, so. So not not the greatest of starts right at this moment in time. Probably should have done that a little bit before I did the. Uh, uh, Okay, don't need don't need Caliban systems, so don't need to worry about that. I'm looking for the Caliban uh, chassis, if I'm not mistaken. So, um, oh wait, hold on. Let's. Uh, I want to check out Ticker first. Let's see, training shelter, no medical debt bonds. Yes. I probably don't need a ton of medical debt bonds right at this particular moment in time. Uh, I think I have I think I have a fair amount already. Um, but um, yeah, I, I didn't didn't necessarily need those ten medical debt bonds, but. You never know. Maybe, maybe I might need some of the additional medical debt bonds for like the uh, Voxelars. It's quite possible. Okay, so I need one more familiar debt bonds and six more advances. So uh, let's go ahead and get started on that real quick. So there we go. Some K-Drive bits in the Corvus. Alright. There we go. Big shipment coming in. Just not sure where it's headed. 
Maybe I can find the link. Try this. The drone network gets antsy in the lead up to major deliveries. Let's dial that down. Break into this control station and lower the alert level. What the? Wow. Oh, I probably should have changed my cold into something better. Because this isn't working all that well. Okay. I got launched. <laughs> I don't think that one guy is going to be able to get in to the game that fast. Wow. Yep, I definitely need to change up my uh, weapon mods. Because obviously the cold is not working very well against the corpus. My gun is not set up for the corpus right at the moment, which is in unfortunate. Uh, I'm... This is not great. You know what?
Let's just go for heavy firepower here. Okay, at least, and you know, until I can get my uh, shotgun back up to something that can actually cut through the, um, um, you know, I'll, uh, you know, I'll change the mods for my shotgun out later, so... Oh, okay. Ah, oh, Jesus. I was kind of hoping that I could get a little bit more um, health restorer back on this guy. I, yeah, my drone is, or my, uh, uh, it's almost dead, so. Ah, oh, god damn it. Okay, last, last chance on this one. Not great. Oh, Jesus. Source 
resources are going to be teleported to this site. Intercept him, steal him, get out. First wave beamed in. Snatch him before the locals do. Obelisk reports a second beam wave. Don't let the taxman lay a hand on any of it. Ah, damn it. I'm gonna be in trouble here. Need more energy, damn it. Ah, fuck. I don't have any more, uh... You know what, I'm just gonna... Oop. I don't know if we're gonna be able to handle this one. out there. Alright. Arsenal, let's go ahead and fix my uh, primary here because obviously the cold is was not doing what I needed to do on that. Um, let's see. need toxin to kind of get through the uh, corporate shields so there we go uh, that should work all right let's try that again um, but first off before uh, Yeah, as you can see, I got, you know, I got an hour left before it resets on me, so I need to really work on trying to get, uh, try to get as many of the reputation that I can before this goes away. So, uh, before we go and work on this next bounty, though, let's go ahead and switch on over to Raiders. Uh, let's go ahead and complete this. Uh, we'll set up a killing field right about there, and we'll start the battle. Let's go. There we go. All done on that one. And nice. All taken care of. Nicely done, everybody. Thank you very much. Okay, well, we only have one winner to choose from, which is really odd because uh, I remember we got three three values for that one kill. <laughs> so it's like, wait, what? <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give this over to Rag, or D-Rag, D-Rag-T, 
however you pronounce his name. There we go. Grant the rewards. Back to map. And we shall proceed on to the next battle. There we go. Uh, let me go ahead and put down a mage this time. It looks like we got a fair amount of enemies here for the most part. Let me go ahead and throw them down right there. So, everybody start putting in your units, and we'll get started in the next 30 minutes. In the meantime, let's go ahead and try this again, shall we? Because that was terrible. That was a bad showing on my part. Of course, it doesn't help the fact that, you know, we only had, like, you know, uh, one one person join us on the team, but wait, what? Come on. Oh. Oh. There we go. Resting with the drone perfectly intact, our engineer should have unfettered access to the There we go. Now we're able to actually hit them in the health, so Let's field test the new Let's go. That's a problem for us. Feel love and solve it quickly. Once they spot what you're doing, they'll react. Then it's all diminishing returns. I need my... This is really handy when I want to take care of a lot of, lot of enemies really quickly. So, let's go ahead and use that. Oh, okay. That was weird. For a second there, it only it only gave me a little little bit at a time. I'm like, okay, stop that. The same amount again. 
Alright, let's go. Oh, it's down again? Come on, damn it. Go away. Oh, why is my energy? Ah, fuck. Go away. Go away. Go away. God damn, man. Ah, damn it. These guys are dying, dying too quickly. What the hell? Oh my god, what the hell is up with this? <sighs> These guys kept on dying too much. And granted, I, didn't, I wasn't really helping out all that much either, but still. Okay, well, not much I can really do about that. They got one. Wait, what the hell? Obelisk reports a second beam though. Don't let the taxman lay a hand on any of it. Okay. I, 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 I. It was saying bounty failed, so I came straight back here, but I was like, 
And then it was like, oh, hey, you, you, you're bending the objective. It's like, okay, you know, I don't know, man. Bug frame is bug frame. I don't really think I got anything that was really worthwhile there. Okay, apparently Cat Companion lost the last life. No one was able to revive them in time, so... Okay, well... Apparently I'm having a just hard time trying to do this one all together. Oh, it's Steel Path. It's Steel Path. Of course. Why? That's why I was having such a hard time with it all. Uh, of course. <laughs> I, I, I was blind. I was just blind. I kept on picking the, 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 the furthest one because my mind was like, going, oh, okay, you know, that uh, I need that last one for the last, you know, little bits of pieces and all that kind of jazz. But no, that was... That was Steel Path. No wonder I was having such a hard time with it all. I was like, what the hell? I was, I was blind. I was just blind. I was wondering why I was, you know, one, I was having a hard time killing them all. Two, and, uh, two, they were... Th uh, like rinsing my armor and the like so quickly and the th third was um, the fact that we didn't really have a lot of people joining us so so yeah I was just being stupid Alright. That one was fairly easy to do. Someone's getting fired over this. But here's the interesting bit. The shipping code on that last crate matches something from my records. I want to follow a hunch. We need a distraction. Travel and do it fast. Once they pop what you're doing, they'll react. Then it's all diminishing returns. Time short. Go, go, go. Not gonna bother with that. You know what? Actually, let's go ahead and Go ahead and take out that. Get rid of these guys. There we go. Set up. Get 
Do, 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 do. <laughs> what are you doing? If that coil drive doesn't hit the trap, this whole operation's toast. Boom! It's down. Now get me access to the station. I really should kind of take a look at my um, missing that drop ship. that Gonna try to get a little bit more energy here before I move on. There we go. They take their security seriously here. Trip an alarm and they can slag their entire data bank in response. So be sudden careful. Someone's already in the uh
I don't think I got any of the familiar bonds, though. I just need the one, but I don't think I got any of them. So... Yeah, I didn't get any. Even though they're common, but, you know, what can one do, right? Alright. We'll go ahead and... Oh, they already left. Sounds good. Let's see. Let's try that again. I just... I just want the, uh... I just need that one... familiar bond. And then I'll switch on over to the other bonds and I'll just keep on spamming that one over and over and over again. Debt ledgers are stored on encrypted data banks. We need to find that debt processing center. Search and destroy. Corpus, mowers, drones, doesn't matter. The objective, you've got a narrow window to get this done before next crew realizes what you're doing. Move fast. Hey there, Vinny. How are you doing? Uh -huh. No worries. Better late than never, right? Having a good week. Oh, Jesus. Get rid of that thing over there. Familiar dead bonds, awesome. Here we go. Oh, I still have to kill weapon uh, enemies with a primary weapon. Right. Damn 
damaged. There's something in the bottle. We need to get it decoded before the device fails. Accessing bottle. Analyze. Password. No. Offer. Final transmission is. Yeah. I still need to get 40 kills on that. Well, I'm I'm partly well. I'm I'm partly done. I mean, I I still have um. I I still have uh. The other bonds to get. I still need like six more bonds. So I'm not. I'm not done yet. I'm there. I'm close, but I have to do some more bounties in order to get the. Uh... Break that. So I'm. I'm... I'm like two thirds of the way there or so, I would imagine, give or take. Okay. Never knew what hit him. Some very relieved families have brought you into my spot. The team has full of info, and I know just what to do with it. I've got a coil droid rolling a doggy looking around. I'm reckoning it might know something. Let's get this thing talking. Okay. There she gave her the other day when Ticker had family bonds available. Now I'm caught up with that rep, my switch. Nice. Valid launch point. Come on. Do you see it? It's oh wait. Hold on. I need to get the pri uh, I need to get primary. Don't need other reinforcements. There we go. Now I don't need to worry about that anymore. Now I can go ahead and use my uh
I can use this guy a little bit more to finish this off. Hey there, Jedi. Okay, man. You take care. You have fun. Try not to get your party killed too much. And I'll see you next time. And don't worry, Jedi, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and shut you out a little bit later if you... Unless you want to do it for me, like, right now, but I understand if you're, like, super busy, so... You don't have to worry about it if you're, uh... If you're not able to do it right now, so... And for anybody that is watching me right at this moment in time, the... The, uh... Uh, stream Raiders will be handled in just a second. As soon as I'm done with the, uh, as soon as I'm done with this particular bounty, then I will we'll go ahead and, uh, I'm not getting any energy whatsoever on this. Not seeing any kind of like restore, or, you know, I'm not seeing any kind of energy boost or anything along those lines. Oh well, it doesn't really matter all that much. Let's move on to the next one. Oh wait. Oh shit. God damn it, man. How is that guy able to get in there without shooting off the camera? Oh well. Let's get out of here. Maybe he flew straight in. But I mean, there was, there was cameras there too. It's like... Oh, he was hidden. That's why. Okay, never mind. All right, but I was able to get the familiar dip bonds, so that was awesome. Got what I needed on that, so all I need to do is worry about the, um, uh, you know, all I need to worry about now is the advances dip bond. I need six more of those, and of course I still need, you know, uh, what is it, twenty six thousand, so. Um, I got 23 minutes left to get, uh, 11k more, and then, you know, I'll have potentially, uh, just 15 left to, um, to finish off getting the amount necessary for the, um, um, for the rank up but before I do that I need to go ahead and first I'm gonna go ahead and shout out Jedi so if anybody is currently watching and you would also like to enjoy watching someone who you know uh, he hasn't really I don't think he's been streaming Warframe all that much lately but he's been doing a lot of uh, Lego games Star Wars games um, you know, I've seen him build some uh, Lego sets that um, he gets his hands on. Um, 
So, so for anybody that is interested, go check out his uh, his channel there. Oh, apparently he's been playing some Nautica. Now I don't know whether or not he recent he did that or he's played that before or if it's his first time playing. Kind of uh, kind of curious about about that myself but i mean he's currently not here anymore so um, not much i can really do about asking him about that but i mean there's his channel if anybody's interested okay uh now uh before we go too far as well let's go ahead and switch on over to our stream readers so that we can handle that uh we didn't get this many people coming in this time around so this is going to be a little bit more Difficult, I would imagine, but we'll see. Um, let's see. We got ourselves a paladin on their team as well as a rogue. Okay, so uh, what I'm probably going to want to do is let's go ahead and set up a killing field, like right about. Uh, let's see. Let's go right about there, and let's try it out. See what happens. There's quite a few enemies, so that's why I'm a little, um, oh, both of my teammates are gone. That's not great. And I'm dead. Oh, well, it was worth an, it was a good effort there, my man. It was a good effort. Um, we shall continue on. We shall try again. You just keep on placing down your units, and we'll just keep on grinding out the, um, you know, we'll just keep on trying to uh, see if we can get a better outcome that time around. So let's go ahead and put, I'll put down like an Orc Slayer this time around, and we'll see what happens there. Um, but everybody start throwing in your units on Stream Raiders. We got twenty. Uh, 29 minutes or you know 30 minutes uh give or take um ready to go so everybody uh check that out um start putting your units on and we'll go from there let me go ahead and see about handling the other quests here real quick five battle plans gotcha i need to go ahead and take care of that Oh, I haven't placed three tank yet? I thought we took care of that. Hmm. Okay, well, I'll have to handle that next time. Um, let's see, battle plans. My, my battle plan for this time is that I should have an archer right there. And that's it. <laughs> I don't really care too much about battle plans. I mean, it, it really doesn't matter all that much. Um, there isn't too much strategy when it comes to stream raiders, for the most part. Especially if people just... I mean, uh, I had that one match where people just flooded with, like, what was it? 46 units, and they only had, they only had like, one opponent. So I was like, okay, well, you know, what can one do, right? Um, so, but yeah, okay, um, you know, hopefully everybody starts throwing some more units in there, and we'll, uh, we'll try again next 30 minutes, but until then, let's go ahead and get back into Warframe. All right, so, uh, let's go ahead, okay, uh, one thing that I want to, one thing that I want to do, so we have... I do have my, um, you know, I have my Corinth Prime set up with the corrosive, so or the the toxin. So I mean, uh, that's fine. I'm able to kill the units a little bit more now. Uh, what I'd like to do though is Helios Prime is fine. Don't need to worry about gear. Uh, I want to look into my Void Rig here. So, 
Let's see, we got some modifications to do on him. So streamline can't really do anything about, redirect can't really do anything about, or, you know, we already got that. Um, already got Necromech Vitality. Um, I mean, don't necessarily need to worry too much about Necromech Fury. Um, don't need to worry about Aviator. Uh, engine efficiency, I mean, okay, maybe. Uh, hover efficiency, yeah. And slide, not really. Um, hmm. I, I don't really need these two in, in my particular opinion. Um, what I should probably do is really work on um, like bumping up my modifications here, especially the energy max. Um, what I would really love is like maybe a mod that kind of restores energy over time, but you know, I don't really see you know, I haven't gotten anything close to that, and I don't even know if there's a mod for that, to be honest. So, um, yeah, we already we already did the orc. Well, I mean, we purchased this outright, so orc and reactor was already pre-installed. So, um, so yeah, I think what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and bump up. Um, energy here because we have um you know we have quite a few points that we can work with here so let me go ahead and do that give myself quite a, a lot more energy um then let's see where do we stand here in terms of points 13 okay um you know i have shield capacity and have shield health let me go ahead and bump up the armor this time around and uh get that up to a high amount as well so let's try that just so you know while there there um, there are uh certain uh, weapons and light that will be able to kind of get through the armor anyway it still will be kind of handy to have uh, mods like maxed out all that i'll be right back gonna grab a bite to eat sounds good there Vinny. sounds good see you when you get back um let's see now Let's see, we have eight points left. Um, and to be honest, we have eight points to that we could do. Actually, we're gonna kind of have a slight reduction of points here. Um, so we're probably gonna be saving one. So, but let's go ahead and bump up the ability strength here a little bit more. All right, let's let's go ahead and just like max out the rest of these because I know that I have the points for it. So let's go ahead and just do that, and we'll do this. There we go. There we go. Now, let's see. I'm just checking to see if there's any mods that might be better overall, better suited. So, like, if I did that, yeah, that's that's a little bit better. Well, I mean, not not by much, but it saves me a little. If it saves me an extra point. <laughs> so. Um, nothing else really works right at this point, but I mean, you know, we got ourselves a lot more to kind of work with on, on this. 
So uh needs format at least six for full build, five for master re reason, six for mod capacity. Necromech rage repairs are going to be your main health energy regens. Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't I don't have those right at this moment of time, but I mean, I'm not I'm not like using this all that much, so I'm I'm okay for for right now on what I have. So um okay we've we maxed out the vandal i i know that this isn't exactly the best already uh so let's go ahead and uh move on to the next one um we have okay so i know the uh, musulon is typically the one that is used more often than not I don't know about this Prisma Duel Decursions, though. Um, accuracy is higher, critical chance is higher, status is higher. Uh, overall weapon damage is higher than the Imperator Vandal. Interesting. And what about the Muslon here? Um, Muslan is also it looks like it's it's a lot better overall. So you know what? Let's let's go ahead and go to the Prismal Duel Decursions for now. Get those out of the way. And then we'll focus back on the Muslan so that we can just max that one out and be awesome when it comes when it comes to that. Um you want to depend on the max arc gun for profit takers since the arc gun launcher has a cooldown. Muslan has a good alt fire. Mm. Well, yeah, yeah, that's that's why I was, um, uh, you know, I, I do want to get that Muslan, you know, up to to kind of get that one working quite a bit. But for now, let's go ahead and uh, like max out this one first before we get go too far. Let's see, we got, where do I hear? Let's see, fire rate. Mm, uh, let's see. Ooh, okay, uh, we could do, let's do the combustion rounds, add some heat damage in there. And then let's also do hollow bullets. So we can get some critical damage in there as well. Let's see. What else? Um, let's add in some status chance so that we have a little bit more chance for that heat to, uh, to pop in. Um... You know what, let's... Now... How good is gas against the, um... Against Corpus? Hmm. Not sure. But I know that, uh, Toxin works well against them. But I'm not sure about gas. Yeah. We'll, we'll leave it at that for now. Um, and we've already kind of... Worked on this quite a bit. Um, would like to mod up that a little bit more, but I mean... Um, my weapons also use it, so I can't really use it too much right at this time. Um, you know what? We'll, we'll, we'll back out of that for now. Uh, generally, you want toxin magnetic for the machines. Cold radiation works good. Gas is good for infested. Mm. Mm, and then maybe, maybe I shouldn't necessarily have gas there. Even though, 
Um, I'm going to do that. Remove that. Mm, if I did... Yeah, I can't, can't even do that either. Hmm. Oh yeah, well, I guess that'll have to do for now. Okay, right, let's let's get back into the uh, let's get into back into the bounties because oh my gosh, I don't have that much time left. <laughs> spent spent so much time working on modification that I forgot. Hey, I need to actually get some bounties done before it resets. <laughs> it's probably too late though. My uh, winning of this is probably going to carry on into the next one. Unless I can finish this in six minutes, but typically no. Um. Uh, did it not take? Weather like this, I do not miss my organics. So, uh, what do you need? That's weird. A recently unearthed Orican artifact is being couriered to Nest Command. Find the courier and liberate the artifact. I might have a lead on the courier. Uh, five so stages. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do this. Figured they'd go after it. I knew some of these people. Search the bodies. Find any survivors. Something in the buffer. We need to get it decoded before the device fails. Accessing buffer. Analyzing it. Password. No. Buffer. Accessing final transmissions. Okay. Normally they're closer to like the road. Yeah, there it is. There we go. Take out these guys. Okay, it is very precise, but at the same time, it's not really that powerful, this weapon. Do 
Sam's all about easy games. Once they wake up, they'll ship to a defensive posture. So smash up and smash fast. Okay. There you go. Not what I'm looking for, but I'll deal with that a little bit later. Okay, I was about to say it's like the second cache. That leaves just one more and I can signal to pick up. Hmm. Where is that third one? There it is, okay. okay. Nice. Awesome. No canisters whatsoever in this immediate area. God damn it. Fought all those enemies and no canisters. Oh, what the? What the hell? That was interesting. What the hell was that? Once again, no... No canisters. Okay, that one guy over there has, like, plenty of canisters. What the hell?
Come on, guys, get some canisters over there. Okay, there we go. I was, I was looking at the map and I'm like going, okay, you know, you know, I wasn't getting any canisters over here whatsoever and it was like, okay, well. Oh, some more advanced death bonds, nice. What the heck? Hold position. Once the coil drive hits the trap, protect it. I don't know what that is, but I'm not gonna bother with it. There it is. Steady. Steady. I have bigger bigger fish to fry. So What is going on with my mech, man? Bug frame is bug frame. Perfect. Call drive disabled. And the ball just set. Corpus response is on route. Get me access to that data map as quick as you can. Got some energy over here. Let me grab that. Yeah, I'm not really liking this gun all that much. It's really too precise for me. I much prefer the guns that I have right at this moment in time because it does splash damage. So. Now, I don't know if the Muslon is one that is. Um. Uh is good for splash damage. I think it is. I think it has some splash damage to it, so... So I'm gonna be... really happy when I can get that going, but for now... It's a holy mech. It's become a beacon for all corpus. Oh, lovely. Oh, wait. Hey, don't need to worry about that. Time to go.
There we go. Awesome. Okay. Now, we didn't get all six that we need for the advances debt bond, but four is pretty good. Love that four. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and leave the squad here. Don't want, necessarily want to get dragged into another bounty just yet. Just yet. I do want to, but um, I got stream raiders in a minute. Um, plus, uh, I want to see where I stand on this for right now. Um, yeah, I didn't get a whole lot of uh, reputation grind on that one. I still need two more here. So, and the daily standing did get reset, so... Um, yeah, so, um, so I need to do, let me, let me make sure, um, yeah, I'll need to do another one of these and hope for that I can get another one of those advances debt bond sets. And then once that's all done, then um, I can just kind of work on trying to just grind for reputation. Um, now, this is 22k uh, worth of of reputation, so it's within my daily standing cap. So I have the potential of getting to the next standing, um, but uh, I don't know if. You know, I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken, once a bounty has been completed, you don't get that that set bounty amount. Like, you know, uh, if you look here, the 4,300, I don't think you get that again once you've completed it. I think it's a one time. So, so even if I was to do this one again, I wouldn't necessarily get that 3,340 reputation on it. So what I'd have to do is, you know, work on these these three um, bounties here. I could try to do the steel path again, but obviously I wasn't doing very well that last time around with Rhino. So I'd probably want to like maybe switch over to um, Wukong, but even then I was having, you know, when I was trying to do that last week, I was having a hard time trying to kill the enemies there as well. So, probably not going to do that one again. Um, so, I'll probably do these three here just to kind of get a little bit more of reputation. So, I mean, I'm looking at... Uh, 27, 17, and 14. So, uh, so I'm looking at 4,100 plus 17 would be 58. So, not that much of a boost on that one. That would put it uh, roughly around, you know, 15k that I still need to get uh, without the bounties. So I'd probably need to like. Maybe I'll, I'll need to do some, like, maybe some fishing. Fishing is pretty good when it comes to reputation. So, um, so I might look into that a little bit more. Um, let's see. Let me, let me check out my necromech here. Um, these decursions, they are really precise, and um, I'm I'm gonna be thankful when I'm when I'm done with them. To be honest, I need I need weapons that have more of a spread to them. I don't have the aim for very precise weaponry, uh, hence the reason why you don't really see me use a bow and arrow. Um, to just I I don't have that 
precise you know my 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 hands don't allow for uh precision shots so or at least not very well um so um i i believe the musulon is more of a an area effect weapon but i could be wrong on that one i don't know um I, like I said, I haven't used them yet, so once I get there, then that'll be great. But for now, we'll have to hold off on that. That's why I haven't maxed them out. I don't like the way they handle. And I mean, I I understand, um, but at the same time, you know, when you're doing an MR grind, whenever you're when you're kind of grinding up your levels, you need to continuously work on weapons that you don't really feel comfortable with so so might as well get it out of the way sooner or later okay um let's go ahead and switch on over to uh stream readers uh, super joined us again so thank you super um, I don't think we have that many enemies against us, though. So that's going to be good for us, for the most part. Um, but again, I think this uh, the giant is going to be kind of problematic. So I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to kind of put like a stronghold like right there in the center. So once we get there um we'll have a little bit of an extra defense against them so let's try it out let's see what happens three two one go oh they have a ha they have faster speed i don't know if we're going to be getting in that fortification before oh no we're not damn oh no wait i see it i see that fortification Okay, I'm doing well against the boss. Oh, nope, I died. <laughs> oh, well. and Super died as well. Uh, that's unfortunate. But, you know, thank you, Super, for continuing to join me on this. I appreciate it. We'll keep on playing. We'll keep on trying. Start the battle. Uh, let me go ahead and throw my tank in there. Because I need to get that. Okay, there's a lot more enemies this time around. So I'm going to throw him over here first so we can take on these pig soldiers. And then hopefully we'll be able to take on the rest. Um, once again, I'll appreciate any help that anybody would love to give on this particular battle. S start throwing your units in. We got 30 minutes to go. And we'll uh, go out and see what we can do on that. So, uh, but for now, let's go ahead and switch on back over to Warframe. And let's get back into the bounties. So, uh, so first off, we need that. Uh, we need that uh, advanced step bond. So we're gonna continue working on that for the time being. Um, again, if anybody wants to join me, you're welcome to. You know, let me know if you want to join. Obviously, I can't in include you on this particular round, but I mean, if you want to speak up in the chat and say, hey, I would love to join, then let me know. Good intentions be paved with hell. There's A, there's A. Come here, A. There we go. What is this over here? OK. 
Okay, any canisters? No, no canisters? Okay. There's one right here. Oh, damn it. Put too much there. Uh, are there more down here somewhere? Where are they? Why were you all the way down there? What the hell? <laughs> Maybe they destroyed the uh, ship. Oh, well, okay, never mind. They've already, uh... Oh, okay. Not really enjoying the amount of bullets that this thing has as well. Not great. so glad when I can get rid of this weapon. <laughs> it's really not that great. Caches, huh? Right here. Nothing there. Alright. Don't think there's any in this particular area, so we'll move on.
Yep, there we go. You can go away now. <laughs> Wasn't gonna let that one, um, uh, that one drone kind of come in and wreck havoc, so. Empowered. Yay. Don't think I really needed that one. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm just trying to get the uh, one. Uh, you know, I'm trying to get that one tokens and whatnot, so. I want to get some more energy in me first before. There we go. Sorry, there was a little advertisement popping up. There we go. Those guys. Here are you guys. Uh, 
Luigi. Hmm, I was kind of hoping for more over here. Landed on the guy. <laughs> I don't think that actually killed him, but it's it seemed like uh, seemed like it did. Get out of here. If I'm not mistaken, I got the last amount that I need. Yeah, I got the two advanced debt bonds. So I don't need any more debt bonds right at this time. Let me go ahead and leave the squad. Um, but I don't have enough standing right at this point. Um, in order to rank up. So I got all the bonds necessary, but I don't have enough reputation. So what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to work on trying to get some reputation going. Now, uh, I still have those other bounties that I could do uh, to try to maybe work on that a little bit more. But let me... Um, see... You know, I can try maybe the business. Making friends can be a simple thing. Be kind. Hmm. That's not gonna give me uh, a ton of the reputation that I need right at the moment. Only one thousand five hundred on that. So, not much I can really do about that. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see, trade gems for Solaris standing. This might actually be worthwhile because, I mean, I have a lot of gems for the most part. Although, it looks like I don't have a lot in terms of the thousands, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the... I mean, I'm missing 17k right at this moment in time, so even if I was to turn in, like, the good majority of these... Here, let me, let me like, throw all these in, for example. I don't think that's going to give me what I'm, I'm, I'm needing. Hmm, okay. I didn't have to use as many there. Hmm. Okay, you know what, let's... Instead of doing that, let's do 40 here. Keep 40 on hand. We'll do 25 here. Um, and then we can probably put a little bit more in max 64. So... Um, let's do that. Uh, 
Yeah, I just have, I just need 200 more. And you know what? This is, this is basically 200. So might as well just go ahead and do one in there and just redeem it. Yeah, I think I can handle losing one point of <laughs> reputation here. If I can get the full amount there, so. Um, so, we'll go to Uruko here. So we're standing, rank up, and there we go. Old mate! I'm an old mate! <laughs> Yay! Okay. Okay, um, well, I don't need the uh, Oculus Blueprint. I already purchased it. Um, you know, I wasn't going to wait until I got to, up to Old Mate in order to access this. So I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to use my, I'm going to use my blue um, Platinum to purchase that. So don't need that at all. Um... These for kick guns? Mm. I don't know about that. Uh, let's see, don't need to worry about trophies. Um, plasma beam range, interesting. Didn't know that, that there was a, rigid, a widget for that. Um, some point plasma drill silencer widget. Didn't even know that I that was a thing. Don't know if I really want to do that though. Uh, Hellstrom blueprint, Oconax blueprint. Dexcore blueprint. Installatra blueprint. I wonder what this is all about. What what are these? Are these like companion weapons that you can purchase? Seems that way. Like I can kind of put this on Helios Prime, for example. So um, I don't know how good these are for the most part. I mean, it might it might give you a little bit more MR, maybe, to build them, use them on your companion, maybe, possibly. Not sure. Not 100 percent sure on that one, but um, I don't know if it, they're really going to be that worthwhile um, overall in terms of companion weapons. But more weapons. Okay, I haven't, I haven't gotten a more myself, so. These, these aren't really that helpful to me at this particular moment in time. So, hmm. Gosh, I don't really know. <laughs> None of these are really that helpful. Other than the silencer widget. Well, I mean, I'm going to be getting reputation anyway. So, I mean, eventually I will build up reputation in order to get all of these uh, blueprints and stuff like that. You know, well, you know, I'm at the maximum, so I should be able to get like the best MOA equipment as well. So I should probably be able to do that. Not exactly my uh, something that I'm really like. Uh, it's like a side project kind of thing not not something that I'm like majorly focused on right now um, I do eventually want to try that out have a more companion but it's the same thing with the um, uh, what's it called the cat pet that I haven't even gotten yet <laughs> so um, eventually I'll I'll get there so but 
I don't think I'm really... Um, it's not something that I... And these weapons aren't something that I need right this particular second. So I think I'm just going to go with the silencer widget. Why not? Because I, at least for that one, it's automatic. So... Okay. Now that that's done... Oh, Caliban Chassis. That's something to look at. Um, I thought Profit Taker would pop out at this particular moment in time saying, hey. Hmm. Other room? Oh, okay. I thought I thought they those bounties were here, but I guess it makes sense that it's it's with the Vexlars. So. The back room. The mothers are a product of corpus breakthroughs using salvaged sentient technology. Traditional weapons are ineffective against them. Their command and control systems have thus far proven impenetrable. Questions? You're kidding me. There is an Exploder Orb fight. Not gonna lie, we could use you, but we made it this far on our own. Sparky, right, we're all here. Let's get started. Profit Taker Phase 1, Phase 2, Phase 3. In phase four. Gotcha. Okay. I th I thought I thought that there was a um I thought that there was an exploiter bounty. I thought there was, but but at the same time, I was like, going, why isn't it showing it to me?" If, if, if you, um, you know, um, uh, what, you know, um, you can kind of get it, get it at any particular moment in time, or, you know, you can kind of fight it at any particular moment in t time, why not allow for it, you know, why not? Allow for the fight, because you can, you can pretty much fight it, like, right now it's it's out there roaming around the grounds you could technically fight it you know even in even just kind of roaming but um so that's why i wasn't um that's why okay um no expiry that's for you to find a group basically Oh, you're telling me that that even though um, they're they're showing the exploiter orb here, it's not going to initiate a um, a group find for you. Hey, hey, hey. That's irritating. <laughs> so I'm pretty much right back where I started then. All you gotta do is load into Fortuna and go straight to deck 12. 
in the Exploiter anytime. Uh, that's that's if anybody else wants to join me on that, though. That's the thing. You know, this isn't, you know, this isn't gonna, like, say, hey, I'm gonna, uh, um... You do know where deck 12 is? No, not really, I guess. <laughs> you know, I thought, um, yeah, I mean, there's, there's a facility right next to the Exploiter Orb that, you know, you can kind of go down into to kind of get the toroids at, but um, you know, I didn't see anything in terms of, like, you know, you could find any, like, uh, Tano presence there either, so. I can show you so you can mark it to remember where it is. Okay. Well, um, I got 15 more minutes, so I'm not going to be doing any kind of profit taker or exploiter orb right at this moment in time. Um, going to be, this will probably be my last, uh, stream raiders. Yeah, I'm not going to initiate another one after this one that's coming up, uh, and that's going to be coming up here pretty soon. Um, uh, I make exceptions for the exceptional. Let's see. I think what I'll probably do is I'll focus on doing a couple of invasion missions on that for for the ending of today. Install an augment mod on your Warframe. I can look into seeing about doing that as well. I'll need to switch my weapon back over from cold if I'm going to be doing the invasion missions. So I figure I might as well finish off the day with some Nightwave. Um, so, um, so Vinny, when you can, hop on in and uh, show me where Deck 12 is. Yes, obviously it's not. Yeah, obviously it's not here, in terms of Fortuna. It's out. On, it's out in the map itself. So. Yeah, yeah. We'll do. We'll do Profit Taker next weekend. So. Um, let me go ahead and switch this over to friends only. Because we don't necessarily need to. Um, you know, we don't necessarily need to get, like, a lot of people joining us on, on this if we're just kind of going out into the map and just kind of seeing what's out there. So, there you are, Vinny. Hello. Alright, let's go. Now, if I go to the map, uh, the Temple of Prophet is, you know, where you can go for, obviously, the Prophet Taker itself. But I believe, you know, that's that's where the Exploder Orb kind of runs around all the time. So I'm assuming that that's where we're going to need to go. So. Otherwise, you know, feel free to... You put... Wait a minute, where 
where is where is Mark II? All the way out there. Hmm, okay. Try getting through there, but she insists they never existed. Zood? I hear them. My sisters. Everything I hear echoes from my sister's ears to my. Okay, I've seen this before. One by one, I remember them saying goodbye. I've seen this before. But I thought this was kind of more where um, you fought like Profit Taker, I thought. Maybe I'm wrong. Because... But no, I think I've seen people kind of... Um, I think I saw some people trying to fight Exploder Orb here as well. Hmm. Odd. Okay, um, best mining place too. Okay, uh, well let's go ahead and get out of here. First phase of the exploder is here, then she goes out. Interesting. Okay. I mean, I, I saw I I saw Exploiter, um, you know, out in the out in the wilderness and whatnot. So I mean, I figured that you could just kind of face her out there, you know, face Exploiter or about there easily enough. But I guess not. So you. So, I mean, I don't even see Explorer Orb anywhere around here whatsoever. So that's that's why I'm like, this is this is an odd place for. For fighting Exploiter Orb, when when you see like the Exploiter Orb there, you know she relocates. That's a huge relocation. Yeah, let me let me kind of you know for anybody that's like watching me right at this moment in time, you know. I've, Uh, so, I mean, I'm, you know, here I am over at the Prophet, or, you know, near the, near the Prophet, and there's Exploiter Orb right there. You know. So, it's like, you know, that's, that's what throws me off about it, because it's like, you know, um, uh, 
you know, you go all the way from over here to over there? Seems very strange. That's a rare one, I guess. I've been up here before and never never saw that before. Hmm. Oh well. Thank you for that. Appreciate it. All right. Well. Um. You know, I think I'll just go ahead and uh, call it at this point. Because, I mean, I only have about five more minutes. Let me go ahead and take care of the stream raiders. Get that handled. There we go. Okay, I'm seeing flying rogue, tank, vampire, and paladin. So it looks like we got ourselves quite a few fighters. So I'll go ahead and uh, set up a killing field right there for everybody. And good luck. Yay, my tank was able to finish everybody off there. Nice. How's everybody else doing over here? Looks like you're handling it really well. Nice. Congrats there, Super Ghost. Awesome. Well, you're definitely well, the only person that's dropping off units, so you get the, uh, uh, you get the reward. Congratulations. There we go. Okay. And there we go. So, uh, but that is uh, everything that we're going to do for the stream readers for now. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, look back in on that again next week. So, um, so I'll handle all this off stream. You guys don't need to worry about seeing that. Um, but next week we'll continue proceeding on our path to get to the end boss on this. So if anybody is interested in doing that, come on back next Saturday and we shall continue. Um, but that's, that's going to be it for the stream readers. And now... Um, we are, we are done here. Now, again, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of thrown off by the whole Exploder Orb idea there, but I mean, whatever. I mean, I'll, I'll do, I'll deal with it when, you know, but I mean, um, It is, it is unfortunate that they don't have, like, a exploiter orb set up. Like, you know, it, it, you you set up the bounty, and if anybody else is interested, it should automatically set up the bounty for for everybody else kind of thing. Um, much, you know, much like the bounty system. It would be awesome if they did that. But, um, so that's, that's what throws me off about it um, so 
you know, I, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm, you know, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just thinking that more could be kind of done for the Exploder Orb because, um, this feels very disjointed. Um, you have to find people yourself. You, the bounty doesn't give you the opportunity to like link up with. I mean, okay, unless of course it, you know, when you select a mission and you go out into like the open world, it only selects people that have selected that particular bounty as well. So you don't want. So when you like, okay. For example, if you go to public and you go, you know, you say you go, you go back to this back room here and you select, you know, like you, you select the, uh, select this Exploder Orb, you go to deck 12, you, you, you know, start the initial fight and so, or you, you go to deck 12. But because you're an open format and you selected this particular uh, mission, maybe anybody else that goes into the open world will be put in, will kind of join your particular instance or you join someone else's particular instance for trying to go to deck 12. Otherwise you get dragged into another bounty, which doesn't really make that much sense anyway, because you're, you're trying to you're trying to select this particular bounty. So I don't know. I, you know, I don't know what, what's going on there. Um, I'll, I'll see what I can do next week. Next week, we'll try this out and we'll see if anybody else kind of joins us on it. Um, best place to find group for explorers, probably recruiter chat. Yeah, but I mean, I, I want to see I want to see what happens, you know, um, yeah, you know, if I, if I select this and I head out into the world, into the world, will it basically cancel this particular exploder or bounty and force me into someone else's bounty or does it truly kind of, um, or does it actually truly feel like a, a, a bounty system? You know, I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out next week. But for now, we'll, we'll, we'll back out for now. Uh, we won't worry about that. Um, you know, we'll, we'll see about maybe, and we'll see about trying maybe like fight it a couple times so we can kind of, uh, you know, get, get a, um, in a rough idea as to what, needs to kind of go into the Exploder Orb. Um, so, I may once again try to see if I can find some additional people to join me on that. Um, on that fight, we'll see. Um, and then, you know, if... If that doesn't happen, then we still got the profit taker, and that, for sure, you know, I, I'm, I'm pretty certain that profit taker is a bounty. You, you select it, and you get brought into an actual group, you know, if you don't have one already. Um, at least I'm pretty sure. Not 100%, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. Otherwise, that would be ridiculous, you know. Um, you know, otherwise you'd be seeing, uh, let's see, um, oh, wait, there is some profit taker recruiting going on in the recruiting. There really is no like random group selector much that am I am I did they really do that? 
Like, you know, they have they have a group builder in the bounty system already. You know, you you select a bounty here, and it allows for you to group up with people with randoms and stuff like that. So you don't have to worry about the without the recruiting system. You're telling me that the okay, I don't need you speaking out anymore. You're telling me that the Exploder Orb and the Profit Taker don't have that system in place? What? I don't know. It's it's weird. It's weird. Okay. Um. Well, we'll we'll figure that out next week. Um. Obviously, um, not able to do everything that I was kind of looking to do today. Um, you know, wasn't able to finish off all the night waves that I was thinking about doing. But I mean, um, we got time on a night wave. We don't need to worry about that too much. I, I'm not going to stress about that. Um, I do eventually want to do more invasion missions, but we'll hold off on that as well. Uh, just so I can build more of the weapons that I'm looking for along those lines. Um, Later. Um, and also, you know, we still have all the uh, new um, new Warframes that I have. Um, that I brought out into loadouts that I need to work on as well, get them up to level 30. So we'll be working on that at some point. Um, but yeah, um, that is gonna be it. We're gonna be gonna go ahead and close on down for the night. Um, yeah, I don't really, you know, let me, let me head back to the ship here real quick because I still need to get that um, the um, daily item here the you claim daily now. tribute which I don't really need the credits there but whatever <laughs> um, so um, We'll, we'll see what happens next weekend. Now, um, also, one thing that I'm probably going to do, probably, um, I'm, I'm kicking around the idea right at this moment in time, but um, my birthday is going to be coming up on the 15th. So, uh, so, on Sunday, the 14th, I'm probably going to go ahead and uh, maybe do another stream. Um, maybe do, you know, uh, try to do like a little birthday stream. Um, I don't, I mean, I don't know, um, you know, I could, I could try to see maybe about like doing a... Uh, a game that is open for everybody and try to get, bring everybody in. Um, see if anybody wants to kind of join me for like a group game. Um, you know, I haven't had that much um, success on bringing people into Warframe, obviously, or bringing people back to Warframe. <laughs> um, uh, so... Uh, but I do have some other games that could do that has like multiple people. Um, so not sure exactly what I want to try to do for it. Um, or I could just kind of play, um, you know, I've been kicking around the idea of doing a Final Fantasy VII playthrough at some point. Um, I've been wanting to kind of do that for a while now, um, 
because you know I, I love that game and I, I do want to get back and play it again um, you know I have it on Steam so it's ready to go and no it's it's not the um, it's not the uh, remake um, played a little bit of that on on the ps5 uh, but um, I don't know um, for the remake I was I had a little bit of a hit and miss on that one but um, but I figure you know play play maybe the old Final Fantasy 7 as an option maybe I don't know uh, if anybody has any suggestions of what I could potentially play on Sunday then let me know. Uh, go to my Discord and throw in some Monday ideas there. Um, and we shall try to um, arrange something. Um, might do four hours, might do six hours, I don't know. I'm I'm kind of up in the air right at this moment in time. <laughs> I'm not going to do like a huge celebration or anything along those lines, but um, you know, if you're you know, go ahead and celebrate the, and the next year of my life. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for today. Um, let's see. Is there anyone currently streaming right now that I can potentially raid? Obviously not Jedi. Yes, he's he's off doing D and D stuff. So, here's, here's something that's kind of bugging me a little bit. Um, I don't feel like that there's, right at this moment in time, um, I see Princess is streaming. I see Blackheart is streaming right now. And I don't see anyone else other than some very large streamers that I I follow that, you know, I, I watch. Thing is, is that I'm not really that happy right at this moment in time with either one of them right now. And I'll tell you why. Because, you know, in the past, I've supported a lot of streamers. Um, no Warframer. Um, in the past, I've, I've supported a lot of streamers in the past. I've, I've gone to people's streams. I've clipped for them. I've uh, chatted with them. You know, I've even played some games with them, you know, such as, you know, with with Princess and Blackheart. You know, I've joined their games. But here's the thing. It's a two-way street. They have yet to try to ask if they want, if uh, they could join me. And that's, I don't know, I, 
if I'm if I'm coming into your streams and I'm you know chatting with you and I'm talking with you and so so on and so forth, then it'd be nice to kind of get the same back in in some you know even even if it's like hey Jim how you doing? That's it. That's all you need to do. You know, just to say hey. I'm watching you <laughs> or something. It's like, you know, um, you know, I've done that for other people as well. Um, and, and here's the thing, you know, people that have, you know, visited my streams, you know, I try to visit their streams as well. Even, even ones that are like, you know, off, off my normal time kind of thing. You know, if I'm at work, Sometimes I even go to some people's streams and visit them. You know, I can't do much for them, you know, at that particular moment of time. But, you know, I, I basically say, hey, I got you on mute. I'm watching you. You know, here's here's a viewership kind of thing. That's that's about as much as I can do. Um, but I mean, that's that's good in my particular opinion. You know, it's, it's, you know, I, I feel that that gives them a little bit of a, like a mental boost kind of thing, because they know that they're not alone, <laughs> you know, now, uh, you know, I appreciate that Vinny's here, you know, and that she joins me on, on these, um, and if she was streaming, then I would be going to her streams as well. <laughs> um, you know, because she supported me plenty of times. So, I mean, if she was ever to do her own streaming, then I would consider that as well. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, though, Finney doesn't do streaming, at least not yet. If she does, then... And I need to find that out, <laughs> but um, so that I can actually give her a follow. But um, but I mean I've seen Princess here, kind of thing, and she's lurked, but that's it. Uh, I've seen Blackheart lurks, but he doesn't contact me. Or he doesn't ask if he could join me on a particular mission. So, uh, no plans on streaming. Would you rather be here? No, it's perfectly fine there, Vinny. Perfectly fine. Um, you know, some people don't necessarily want to stream. Some people might be anxious in streaming. I know some people are really nervous in in getting in front of a camera and kind of putting themselves out there. Uh, hence the reason why a lot of people get into VTubers because it's not necessarily them, it's an avatar, it's their, it's a role play that they get into. So they could, they could basically act in their stream. So it allows for them to not be as anxious when it comes to that. Um, but, um, but I mean, it, you know, it doesn't, you know, not everybody needs to, uh, you know, not everybody needs to stream, <laughs> you know, uh, you don't have to stream if you don't want to. So, um, nothing wrong with that. So, uh, I do it. I did it for my own like mental health when I was unemployed. So uh, it allowed for me to kind of get out of bed and do something, you know, on a regular basis. You know, do something, pro well, productive. <laughs> so, um, but I don't. Uh, you know, I, I, 
I do what I can to try to help out others. Try to, you know, um, pop into other people's streams, especially if they're if they're streaming during a time that I can. I mean, if they're streaming at like three o'clock in the morning, there's not much I can really do about it. <laughs> but, um, but I mean, if you're playing Warframe, you know, maybe, maybe say, hey, Jim, I'm playing right at this moment in time. Would uh, mind if I join you? They're both they're both streaming right now. They're both on PC right now. Just saying. So. Uh. You know, so it's it's one of those it's one of those things where it's like, you know, hey, uh, you know, I've been to your streams, I talked with you, I played with you. Reciprocate. <laughs> you know, that's all. So I don't feel like rating either one of these two, right now. Matter of fact, I I think I'm, I'll, I'll back off. I'll close on down for now. So, um, you know, my point is, is that, you know, I, I made a stream team because I felt like nothing was being brought, uh, you know, I was giving, uh, you know, uh, I felt like I was giving a lot of my time and effort to go to other people's streams and chat with them, you know, on previous teams. Um, but it never came back towards me. So it wasn't a two-way street. It was me. <laughs> it was me on a one-way street for them. And that was it. It's like, hey... You know, two-way street here. Two-way street. Um, that's all I'm asking for. <laughs> so, uh, I have the case of both anxiety and the lovely form of social anxiety also. So, my time is only spent with those I feel comfortable with. And that's understandable there, Vinny. That's understandable. Um, uh, and that's, that's what really hits, um, you know, some streamers quite a bit. Um, you know, uh, that's, that's one of the, that's one of the positives of, um, of like streaming or, um, you know, internet communications or internet playing or something along those lines, because, you know, for introverts like us, it's really difficult to like meet someone new and and chat with them like they're a brand new friend or you know but chat with them like they are they're your best friend um uh, you know it uh, you know i don't know i don't know what it's like as an extrovert you know does that come very easy for them like i, I would imagine yes that they they're they um you know, some are easier to to view. You know, uh, one of the quotes that I kind of like is, you know, um, you know, strangers is a friend that you haven't met yet. You know, um, and that's that's a nice mentality. Um, but for introverts, it's a little bit harder. <laughs> Uh, because your your comfort level isn't necessarily there. Um, you know, you you get uh, you know, like for for me, I have that that fear in the back of my mind that if I go up to someone and say, "Yeah, hi, here's my name," they're gonna laugh at me. 
is that's happened in the past. <laughs> you know, I can laugh at it now because I'm I'm kind of comfortable with my name that um, you know I can make jokes about it. I can self-deprecate, um, and that kind of uh, I, I take power away from those that try to bully me, you know, um, when it came to my name. So, um, so it, it helped me get a little bit more comfortable with that. Um, but that, that fear, you know, like going into the classroom for the very first time, teacher says my name and then the entire class laughs at it. You know, that's that's still there in the back of my mind. So, I mean, I get it. I understand. Thankfully, Internet and and streaming is is comfortable for me because I'm not I'm not face to face with someone. It's it's more of like a, a mental communication than anything else. You know, I'm, I'm still showing my face and whatnot, obviously. Uh, but um you know, it. I don't have that. You know. Uh, I mean, you watching me right now. You know, the lurkers or uh, others that are watching me right now. You could be watching me and you know, laughing uh, hilariously. You know, it's like, who's this guy? Ha ha ha! You know, kind of thing, right? I don't know. You know. Um, I have, I have no clue. So, you know, um, but that's, that's fine. I'm comfortable with that. So, um, that's one of the nice things about that. So, all right, I've talked long enough. <laughs> um, sorry, there wasn't a whole ton of gameplay today. Um, did a lot earlier with kind of setup. So, um, but I was able to get to the, uh, to the old mate reputation. So, so I was, I was figuring that that was going to be the case, but, um, now we're just going to try to see about doing some exploiter and profit taker fights next week. So, uh, we'll see what we can do. But you just got a mail. Hmm. It didn't say anything. Oh. You did send me a gift. Okay, what well, did you send me there, Vinny? More film slide. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, you know, I what I could do, to be honest. Um, let's let's see. Thank you, there, Benny. I appreciate that. I really do. Um, I mean, I think I have quite a few Warframe slots already that I haven't. You know, or I have. You know, I have. Uh, slots available that I haven't um, that I haven't claimed Warframes out of. So, um, I'm kind of curious if I um, you know how much I have altogether. Because I think I have, I think I have a lot of Warframe slots already, but I'm not 100% sure. And Let's see, Nova Prime. Okay, so I do, uh, so I'm going to be needing some more Warframe slots for 
Let's see here. Yeah, I only have the one built. So I'm just missing uh, one Warframe slot <laughs> for, for Nova Prime. But don't, don't bother. Don't, don't worry about it because one, um, uh, as, as I mentioned before, I tend to like to get the, um, you know, I, I want to try to do more of the low out slots kind of thing. So, um, so eventually I'm going to need to, um, I'm, you know, obviously I'm going to re be replacing all the, um, uh, I'm going to re be replacing all of the, uh, non-prime Warframes with their prime versions, but obviously I need to build them up to that point or, you know, get the parts together and so on and so forth. You know, like I'm missing the part for Saturn Prime, for example, blah, blah, blah. That's neither here nor there. Um, actually, now that I think about it, hold on. I just pulled out Mag Prime, right? So, yeah, I did. Okay, so, um, so I mean, I'm gonna be, you know, I need to remember next week I can sacrifice Mag to Helmuth, and that will free up another slot for me for example um let's see um let's see was there any others here that i need to kind of work on a little bit more for that as well um, I believe Nova was one, but I think I've already sacrificed her to Helmet. Yeah, I don't see Nova here at all as well. So, um, so yeah, I mean, you know, there's, uh, so I don't necessarily need the Warframe slots right at this moment in time. So I don't, I don't. Last one for now, Jason. <laughs> oh, Vinny, you spoil me. <laughs> Thank you, Vinny. I appreciate it. You didn't need to do that, though. Like I said, I, I'm going to be fine in terms of Warframe slots. It's not like I'm, you know, it's not like I'm hurting for Warframe slots right at this moment in time. Plus, I mean, I have my own Platinum, so if I absolutely need to, I can always get my own Warframe slots. So it's not, you know, so it was worth it to see. Thank you, Vinny. I appreciate it. Um... Okay, so, um, so yeah, I mean, you know, uh, also, you know, uh, I'm going to be, you know, there's more Warframe slides as well, so it's not, it's, that's, that's, that's not what I'm like, uh, you know, what I'm, what I'm most hungry for, to be honest, and I really wish that they would give me that option is give me some more loadout slots <laughs> but apparently that that only comes with the MR uh, with the MR grind so um, I've already maxed out all the extra slots that I can purchase right at this point um, so and from what I understand you eventually get enough to handle the entire you know every single last Warframe out there. I don't really know. Um, you know, personally, in in my particular opinion, you know, as a, as a streamer, um, it would be handy 
to be able to kind of do, you know, have like, um, you know, uh, like if if someone new comes in to stream and they're like, you know, what's the difference between Frost and Frost Prime, for example, right? I could do that or, you know, not, not right now, but I mean, it'd be nice to be able to kind of do that when you have like, you know, all of the non primes in all the regular primes, you know, um, you know, to be able to kind of do like a comparison between the two, you can kind of show off, you know, here's, here's the non prime version, and here's the prime version. And you can kind of show the, the differences between the two, like during the stream, that would be awesome, in my particular opinion. Um, that's why that's why, you know, I like the idea of loadout slots. Um, so I, that I can do that if I really wanted to. Um, they're just not giving me that much. Um, you know, like I said, uh, would love to, but I've already maxed them all out. So not much I can really do about that now. Um, and from one other stand, once I get, uh, once you get to like, um, MR30, I believe they're, they, you know, I don't know if it's like MR30 where they just kind of dump a whole lot of loadout slots for you. I don't really know. Um, maybe it's, um, maybe at a certain point they give like five loadout slots per level or something like that per MR. I don't know. Uh, well, we'll, we'll get there eventually. <laughs> so, uh, but that's it. That's, that's, I need to close on down there, folks. I'm talking too much. Um, so all these streams, all these videos are eventually uploaded to my YouTube channel. So feel free to check that out. Link is down below on my Twitch about page for that. I also have links to my Discord, my Patreon, and my Twitter account down below on my Twitch about page, as well as in the description of my YouTube videos. So feel free to check any of those out if you're interested. Um, you know, I do have a clan here on Warframe that um, everybody can join if they're interested. You know, if, if they want if they want to bring, put in an application for it, you know, or put in your name in for having a spot in Strange Gamers, go ahead and do so. You know, um, ideally, I would love, you know, to have people that are, um, you know, paid forward kind of members, people that, you know, help out everybody else, you know, kind of continue the, um, you know, continue the, the community vibe that is Warframe, you know, helping out new players, uh, helping out each other, so on and so forth, you know, um, you know, it would be uh, nice to kind of keep on building that, that kind of a um, clan up. So, um, you know, and hopefully everybody, you know, wants to kind of join in on that. Um, you know, and believe me, there's, there's plenty of room to, for growth on this one. So, uh, now right now we have, we do have eight members and I believe max in the clan is 10. So, um, uh, but I mean, there's, there's a couple of people that haven't been online in Warframe for that long so you know I could potentially just remove them from the clan to make room um, you know that's also always a possibility um, or you know I can expand the clan ideally I would love to kind of see this you know where every single person is there you know like at least once a week because that's that's what I do <laughs> once a week um, but, um, you know, or if not two weeks or something like that, 
you know, half a year though, they're probably they're 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 done with the game. They probably don't want to play it anymore. <laughs> Um, maybe they had some problems with the game or something like that. Maybe, I mean, I was, I was lucky when I kind of first got started because I'm signing at gaming theater, crazy. Um, he gifted me a lot of platinum at the very beginning. So I got lucky on that. Uh, he gave me a lot to use to, um, to build up all the loadout slots that I had, to um, you know, to get the weapon slots that I needed, the Warframe slots that I needed, to kind of continue progressing in a you know a decent pace for the most part. Um, for someone that is brand new that's kind of struggling, I can see them having having some hard times with the game along those lines so because they don't have the plat you know so um but that's available if anybody's interested i also have a stream team available as well if you're interested in that uh the team is uh isn't an official is not an official twitch team i need a partner for uh, i need an official twitch partner in order to make it an official twitch team but at the same time i don't necessarily need it to be an official twitch team because it's meant to be something that is uh incorporates all streaming all streaming uh, platforms you know uh twitch youtube facebook gaming what have you any other streaming platforms that are out there you know that's that's you know uh, the team is meant to try to uh, help out everybody, no matter what platform that you're streaming on. So, um, so a link for that is down below on my Twitch about page. As I've, I've also been including it lately in my tw uh, YouTube videos, so in the description. So feel free to check that out if you're interested. I have a Google document that explains everything about the team, um, the the mission statement of you know that it's all about trying to help out everybody that's on the team, you know one way or another, technical, um, collabs, tournaments, charity events, um, you know just uh, you know uh, just regular like uh, promotion. It's all kind of part of the team. I built sub. Yeah, I built so many sub teams that are meant to try to, you know, take a little bit of load off of any streamer that joins. Um, but I will admit, it's not necessarily just for streamers. Um, the team is, uh, you know, will allow for, you know, non-streamers as well, people that don't stream you're welcome to join the team as well because let's face it there are some things that you can do you know you could do the whole you know um you know helping a streamer set up a collab or set up a tournament or set up a charity you know you could be that person that helps them um you know handle technical difficulties you could be that person that um that you know is my you know handles moderation handles and you know as a moderator you know you go to other streamers and you you're their moderator that's something uh, maybe you're an artist you like drawing and so uh you know we we can definitely you know i have everything kind of set up for you know commissions so if you're looking for a place where you can just kind of be in there and you ask for people to kind of commission out that's also available you know musicians same thing so so you don't necessarily need to be a streamer to join you know my team robot so um it's all about meant to try to promote the you know pay it forward helping everybody else out lift everybody else up you know that that kind of mentality um, 
and we're always looking for more members so uh, if that's something that interests you check it out send an uh, application I'll review it and if everything looks good then you'll be getting that email from me saying hey here's the discord here's the um, here's everything that you need to know so um, if you're one that likes to um, well, if you're one that harasses or um, you know demeans other streamers uh, if you're one of those hate stream streamers or something like that goes to streamers and raids them and gives them a whole bunch of crap you're not welcome don't want you if I find evidence that you're doing that I will kick you out immediately I will not tolerate that in the least so um, so don't want it so but that's it that's where we're going to go ahead and close out for tonight so thank you very much for watching i appreciate it um want to shout out everybody that uh stopped on by and chatted with me uh jedi for example um you know stopped on by for a short time before he was able to and before he went off to D, &D. so thank you for that I uh, also want to thank um, Man Gems for stopping on by and chatting with me earlier today. Thank you for doing that, uh, my friend. Hopefully, I'll catch you next time. And as always, thank you to Vinny as well. Um, not only for the gifts that you provided me, the two Warframe slots, uh, the Hindren uh, the week before, but also thank you for chatting with me. I appreciate it. It makes the day go by faster. Um, so it, it really allows for me to interact with people more and that always, um, I feel that, um, uh, that gives more for you, the viewers to be able to, you know, for me to interact with others. So, uh, but that's it. So thank you very much for watching. Um, appreciate it. Hopefully I catch you next time, but until then, take care. Have a good night. Stay healthy, stay safe, and I'll catch you strangers next time.